guys thanks for stopping by smoking steve's today today we was uh, kind of looking in the freezer for something to cook up uh, and we ran across this uh, turkey uh, uh, tenderloin and uh, uh, we originally had uh, two in a pack and uh, i fixed the uh, one pack up and uh, made some turkey jerky uh, but today we're going to be cooking up this uh, turkey tenderloin and uh, you can use this uh, same method on a regular turkey breast if you want. Uh, we are going to wrap this one in bacon and maybe you wouldn't want to wrap a whole turkey breast in bacon. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to be cooking a, a tenderloin today and then maybe uh, down the road a little bit, maybe doing a, a regular turkey breast. But this uh, pork tenderloin, it's small and uh, you know if you're not having a lot of people over or just the two of you or something like that, uh, you know it's big enough and it's going to be some good eating. Uh, I know uh, white meat on the turkey, uh, a lot of people don't like the white meat because it's so dry. Well, today we're going to smoke it, and I guarantee you it's not going to be dry. Uh, once you've had a smoked turkey, uh, and if you cook it right and pull that guy off at the right temperature, it is going to be so juicy, and you're never going to want it any other way. Uh, a lot of times uh, when you cook uh, turkey in the oven, you got that little red pop-up thing that pops up and uh, lets you know when it's done. Well, guess what? When that thing pops up, it's more than done. It's overcooked, and that white meat more than likely is going to be dried out on you. So if you, it's okay to cook it that way, and, you know, it's a great way, but uh, uh, rather than wait on that little red pop-up thing, Go ahead and get you a, a, a temperature probe and check that internal temperature yourself on that turkey. And you want that turkey breast to be 165 degrees. And uh, anything above that, uh, that meat starts drying out on you. And uh, that little red pop-up thing, uh, they're going to make that thing air on the safe side just to cover their you-know-what. So uh, chances are that thing's going to pop up 180, 200 degrees. And that's just way overcooked and that white meat's going to be dry on you. But if you smoke it like we're going to do today, <laughs> it's good eating. So uh, let's get this thing prepped up and uh, let me show you what we're going to do. Here it is, guys. Turkey breast tenderloin. And it just weighs uh, one and a half pounds. So uh, it's not very big at all, but it's big enough for the two of us. And uh, we're going to get this thing unpackaged here and uh, get it all prepped up. Okay, guys, I got these unwrapped here, and we wound up with the uh, two pieces, uh, the pork tenor or the uh, turkey tenderloin. I'm used to cooking pork tenderloin, but uh, today it's turkey tenderloin. And uh, today we're going to be using the Dizzy Pig. Mad Max tur turkey seasoning on this guy. Uh, haven't used this before, and uh, we're going to give it a try. Uh, see what it's like. I've had really good luck with Dizzy Pig, and uh, we're going to be cooking with uh, Bear Mountain pellets. We're going to be using cherry pellets today uh, for a little extra added fruit flavor. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get some of this seasoning on there. Shake him up a little bit. The seasoning really smells good. Just pat that in a little bit. I'm going to flip him over and uh, do this other side. It's 
really smelling good. I can't wait to see how these turn out. Like I say, this is enough for uh, two people, uh, maybe three people. Uh, but uh, if you're cooking for Thanksgiving or a big group of people, you're going to want a turkey breast or a, a big turkey uh, or several of these, however you want to do it. But we're going to get these uh, finished up and get the these prepped up and get that grill going. So let me show you what else we're going to do. Okay, guys, uh, we put those uh, two chicken tenderloins together here, and we're going to cook it all in, as one piece. And if you notice, uh, we got some bacon laying underneath here, and uh, we're just going to wrap this guy up in some bacon. And I got me some toothpicks here. So we're just going to simply take that bacon, wrap it around like this. We're going to keep it simple. We could do a basket weave or whatever if you wanted to, but uh, we're not doing that today. Now on this bacon, it's uh, better if you use a thinly sliced bacon. Uh, that way it'll get a little crispier for you, uh, cooking at low temperatures. And today uh, we're going to be cooking on the uh, Rectech Bullseye. And we're going to be smoking these at, uh, we're going to have the grill set at 225. So after I get these all wrapped up, I'm going to add just a little bit more seasoning on top and get that bullseye fired up, get it up to temperature 225 and uh, get this on the grill. Okay, we got these all wrapped up. Now we're going back in with the uh, Dizzy Pig Mad Max Turkey Seasoning. We're just going to add a little bit more flavor on the top here. Man, this is really looking good. I hope this turns out as good as, it, as it's looking. We're going to set this in the fridge and uh, let it get happy a little bit while that uh, grill's getting up to temperature. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get out here and uh, get this grill lit. Uh, here's what we're going to be using today, today the uh, Rectech Bullseye. And uh, by the way, I just love this customized cart that uh, I had made for me. And I'll have a link underneath the video uh, where you can check that out, uh, along with some other links. But anyway, uh, we got this guy plugged in, and uh, we're going to get this thing fired up. Last cook uh, was at 400 degrees, so we're going to lower that temperature to uh, 225. And we're going to change the uh, temperature display to actual temperature. And it's showing uh, 90 degrees. So we're going to let that thing get up to 225 and uh, be putting that uh, turkey tenderloin on. Okay, we got this bullseye up to 225 and I got this turkey tenderloin uh, sitting here on this uh, cast iron grate. And as far as this grate goes, I'll have a link underneath the video for one of these if you want to pick one of these up for your bullseye. But, uh, you can fix this on any grill. It doesn't have to be a, a bullseye. So let's go ahead and get this thing closed up and uh, let her smoke. Okay, I did throw the uh, temperature probe into the uh, turkey there to uh, monitor the temperature. Then we're going to go down here and change the uh, temperature display to meat. And it's showing the uh, turkey being at 53 degrees. So we're going to get this guy all closed up and uh, let her smoke. Okay, guys, we got that turkey tenderloin on now. Uh, I don't think it's going to take too awful long. It's not that big. Uh, but uh, we got the temperature probe in there, and we're going to let that uh, uh, get up to 165 degrees internal temperature. And uh, we'll be pulling that off the grill and be doing a taste test. 
and it is really looking good with that bacon wrapped around there. I can't wait to tear into this. It's really going to be good. So hang around. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it and uh, pull it off when it gets up to 165. Bring it in, slice it up, and do a taste test. I can't wait. Hang around. Okay, this turkey uh, tenderloin has been on here for about two hours now. And the internal temperature is about 127. I don't know whether you can see that or not. 129. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open the lid and uh, take a look. Mmm. It's looking good. It's, it's getting there. That bacon's looking good. Uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and... Uh, crank that temperature up to about 350 and try to crisp that bacon up a little bit. So we'll go over here to uh, set point. Whoops. Wrong button. Go to uh, set point and set it 225. So we're going to go to uh, 350. Right there. But we're still going to uh, monitor the uh, meat temperature. And the meat is 129. So we're going to let that finish off at 350 and get that turkey up to 165 and be pulling it off and taking her inside. Okay, guys, I've been uh, kicked back here uh, smelling this great uh, turkey cooking away, smoking away, and uh, it's been smoking away here for on 350 for about another hour and it just now reached 165. So uh, we're going to go over and uh, see what it looks like. Right here. 164. It's toggling between 164 and 165. Let's open this lid and see what she looks like. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is really looking good. Bacon's looking awesome. This is really going to be tasting good. So I'm going to get this on a plate, get her inside, get her cut up, and be doing a taste test. Okay, guys, I got this baby inside here. It's really smelling awesome. Look at this thing. I can't wait to taste this. So I'm going to get it off here and get it on the cutting mat and get her sliced up. Okay guys, got my old favorite knife out here, my Rapala. I love this thing, little fillet knife. I use it on everything. Really works great. We'll see how it does uh, getting through this bacon. I did forget to take Take it off the plate and put it on the mat. So here we go. That's cutting right through that like butter. And that's really looking good. Nice and juicy. Falling apart. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this cut and uh, be doing the taste test. Okay, here she is all sliced up. Look at that. Only one thing left. And you know what that is. Alrighty. Here we go. I got me a little bite right here. Right here. A little bit of bacon. A little bit of turkey. We're going to see what it's like. Oh, this smells so good. Oh. Oh, hey, man. This is good. I never had so much flavor. That dizzy pig uh, uh, turkey rub, turkey seasoning, that is awesome. With that bacon on there, it's really good. So guys, it's really hard to go wrong with this dizzy pig Mad Max turkey seasoning. This bear mountain pellets for smoke. This is really good. 
You're not going to disappoint anybody with this. This is good. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up.